I'll tell you a movie I've never sat down and watched from start to finish. That's The Sound of Music, Julie right. Andrews. Yes, I know that film. Why am I talking about that? I can hear you saying, munching on your grape nuts. Are we going to go dancing over the hill? No, doe a deer. Oh, right, doe, yes. Doe a deer, a female deer. Go on, what's the next Ray, one? Ray, a drop of golden sun. And after that? Me, a name I call myself. Me, I thought it would Neil. <laughs> No, I've always thought it were Neil. Neil? Well, Neil's a name that you'd call yourself, innit? No, me. Do you know anybody called me, or do you know people called Neil? Anyway, I need to watch it, don't I? <laughs> the Highlands is really well known for its rugged landscapes and its stunning wildlife. It so, is. So imagine what would happen if you mingled the two together. Right. Well, at this time of year, towards the end of September and into October, it's rutting season. What's rutting season? Uh, Summer like our bedroom after a couple of whiskeys. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. Oh. It's when the stag's testosterone levels start to boost up. You know, like when you're watching Peter from Bake Off. <laughs> Sat there with a cushion over his lap. Oh. And, uh, yeah, and they get in the mood for fighting. Yeah. And it's the time when they fight for the females and for territory. You thought the first 20 minutes of Saving Private Ryan was rough. <laughs> I tell you, there's some right stag on stag action and not in a good way, <laughs> isn't there? Yes. So today we've come out into the, well, the wilderness of Highland Scotland to try and see some of this stag on stag action going on. Have you brought your binoculars? <laughs> I've, got, I've got my camera. <laughs> Some sandwiches. Yeah. Your spare pants. I've got my spare pants. Right, let's go. Just a little bit of a warning. Stags are not only wild animals, but they're also really heavy. Some of them weigh up to 200 kilos, which is about 30 stone. You don't want one of those charging towards you when they're in the mood for a fight, do you? If we see any today, we're gonna to be using zoom lenses. We don't wanna to get too close, at least no more than 50 meters or so. And if you want to go out and see the stags rutting, I highly recommend that you don't get too close. Even better, try and find a tour, the safari tours, with experienced guides that will take you to places where you're more likely to see them safely from a distance. You might recognise the landscape that we're in at the moment. It's called Glen Loft and it's a valley with some peaks on each side. It's just south of Helmsdale off the A9 and this little windy narrow track goes for about 10 miles from the A9 at Loth down to Kildonan, which do you remember a few weeks ago is where we went gold panning and didn't find any gold. <laughs> but it's really open here and so the chances of seeing some herds of deer, hopefully, fingers crossed, are a bit higher. So keep your eyes peeled. We saw a herd, there must have been about a hundred in the herd. And they saw the Jeep and disappeared, they've gone. <laughs> and Sean's not fit enough to run after him, are you? I'm not fit enough to run after anything. He even tried shouting at them and that made it better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> the stags are huge though, they really stand out. In fact, they're one of the largest species of deer and they're related to the American elk which our American fans will like. Oh, I didn't know that. The Americans always have to have something bigger and better, don't they? <laughs> now you've seen how impressive the antlers are and they actually shed them, they cast them every spring around Easter time, March, April time. One of them actually left them in our garden. Yeah, we've got one on our windowsill. Yeah, we keep it in the house, it's brilliant. But then they grow back really quick. And when I say quick, I mean really quick. They can grow up to two inches a day. Wow. If they're healthy stags. Now, when they're growing back over the summer, they've got this like velvety hair coating thing. They have. Over it. And that contains nerves and blood and it supplies the new antlers to help them to grow. Now, you've probably seen that they're kind of graded 
Do you know what I mean? When you have six points on each side, you're known as a royal stag. If you get seven points on each side, that's an imperial stag. Now, if you get eight on each side, so 16 points in total, that makes the stag a monarch. Monarch of the Glen. Exactly, you've seen the painting by Edward Landseer called the Monarch of the Glen. That's a 16 pointer. Right, we've got to go and find some stags because that's what we've come out to see. Yes. Is that some over there? Yeah. Oh yeah, shall right, I pull in? Yeah, pull in. As soon as we got out of the jeep, we could hear the stags bellowing just across the hill from us. We saw some of the deer disappear into a wooded area about a quarter of a mile in front of us. So very carefully and quietly, we're gonna follow the trail and see if we can get a good view of them without getting too close. And here they are. There's about four stags with this herd and each one's going to be trying to assert its dominance. He's got to be the strongest so that he can take the hinds and the territory. The current stag will have rounded up the hinds over the last few weeks and he's now got to protect his territory and ultimately his mating rights. All of these stags will have been putting weight on and growing their antlers all in preparation for these fights. And they can really lock horns and take it out on each other if they need to. It might look vicious as they roar and grunt and smash and crash into each other, but as violent as it all looks, they actually very rarely hurt each other that much. It's only when you get two stags that are of a similar size and strength that it can get quite nasty because there's no other way for them to gain dominance and that's when they can really injure each other. Sometimes the stags will thrash their head around in the vegetation, picking up loads of twigs and leaves and undergrowth to make their head look massive and scary. They also pee and then roll around in their own pee and mud. Oh, it's supposed to be attractive, like a, an aftershave for stags. Not sure it'd be that attractive on a Friday night down the pub though. The rutting can go on well into the evening before eventually the stags run out of energy and just collapse for the night. Maybe back tomorrow for round two? Wow, that was ace. They were awesome, that. Watching us. <laughs> oh my God. We had to play that when we get, in fact, when me and my best mate used to be personal trainers a few years ago, we used to play something really similar to that. Oh, I dread to think. You know the big inflatable Swiss balls, the exercise balls? We'd hold one really close to his chest, stand at opposite ends of the studio, and then rage towards each other, crashing into each other, locking balls, <laughs> and then falling on the floor laughing. <laughs> it's bizarre. Try it, it's fun. Honestly, oh. it's fun. It wasn't all fun and games for the winning stag though. Once he's got himself a herd of lady deer, he's got to keep his eye open for other stags trying to come in and get a bit of the action and he's kick him off his territory. Stay on guard. Yeah, he can't eat or sleep much. He's got to, Mr. Stag has got to sleep with one eye open all the time. Yeah. To protect his herd. While we're talking about protection, don't get too close. If you fancy doing this, keep your distance. The Royal Parks website recommends a minimum 50 meters. I'd Ooh. say a bit more than that. Yes, I would. Bring binoculars, get a camera with a good zoom on it and, and put it on a tripod if you want good, clear, steady shots rather than getting too close. Yeah. How's your bum? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we hope you've enjoyed your little afternoon, evening out with us, rutting, not dogging, rutting. <laughs> if... <laughs> You'll see in the outtakes. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the vlog and you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you hit the notifications bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a video, which is Friday at four o'clock. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link up above Sean's head, which will take you to Patreon or it's down in the video description. Or you can join as a YouTube member and get loads of perks and exclusives and content that nobody else sees. More of this rubbish. <laughs> 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 We'll be back next week. Take care of yourself. See you later. Bye-bye. Ta-ra! Yeah. With Julie Andrews. Is it Julie Andrews? Oh, who's the other Julie I'm thinking of? Walters. Julie Walters. I don't Julie think she were in sound of music. Oh, happened. <laughs> <laughs>What you don't know is there's normally like three cars a day on this road. Three cars a week? But the A9's been closed for about a day and a half due to an accident. 
so a lot of traffic is coming up and down this road. We used to, we used to get these. Uh, yeah, they did. They used to get them. I need a laxative. <laughs> Not like a verbal laxative to be able to get me words out properly. You already talk verbal diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone a bit way with this one. That van were called the dog bus. Should be a dogging bus. I'd go on that. I'd pay a pound for a ride on the dogging bus, wouldn't you? Yeah. No. Dogging bus. 